Hello there guys and very much welcome to this video. I'm Rasmus from HacksHomeWeb.com and today I'm going to show you how to analyze the competition for a specific keyword using SerpChecker.com. Now I use SerpChecker myself for pretty much all of my keyword research. I use it for affiliate websites, for blog posts and even on my YouTube videos. And I use it to give myself an idea of which keywords are the right ones to target, which ones with low difficulty. So before we dig into the tool, I just want to introduce you to main goals. So if we see up here, all these three tools are developed by main goals and they come bundled together, which means that you don't just buy one tool, you buy access to all three. So it's pretty much an all-in-one SEO solution, which is really, really cool. And they are all three really very useful. So first we have the SERP checker here, and then we have probably the most popular one of them, uh, the keyword finder, which is great for finding low competition keywords in seconds. And on top of that, we have the SERP watcher. It has just been released and it is great for tracking your rankings on your websites on various keywords. Um, now, if you want to look further into these two tools, I have videos of those on my channel as well. And in case you want to try out these three Mangools tools uh, for free, you can follow the link in the description and get a free trial and see if it's something for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dig into the tool itself. So in this example, I'll be using the keyword sandwich grill. Now it's set to track in US um, and I'm going to keep it that that. But in case you wanted to do country specific research or even area specific, you could also enter it right here um, and go for that. And I'm going to do that in another video, show you how to do local SEO competition research. But for now, we'll just keep it simple. And here we have the option to select whether we want to see it from a mobile or desktop. Because obviously the rankings are different for each of these. Okay, so let's click analyze the position. And as you can see, you're presented with a whole lot of different data right here. Now this number up here is very interesting. It simplifies all of this data into one. Basically it's a an SEO difficulty, which is a value from 1 to 100 that is calculated based on all of the data here. Um, now, as you can see, we have 29. That's the score of this keyword, which means it is somewhat easy to rank for. There's some competition, but it's certainly not impossible. Okay. Um, and also you can see the number of results returned from Google, if that's of interest to you. So before we look further into this statistics down here, you can just click on snapshot. Now this page will show you exactly what a person from United States um, on desktop PC searching the keyword sandwich grill in Google will see. So this is what it would return. Now let's go further into it here. As we can see here, these are the top 10 positions. Now we can see all in all, these positions have strong domain authority. So that's the downside of this. But as you can see here, the first three are Amazon links. Very, very authority website. Um, so why are the score, as you can see right here, they also have an individual score. Why is the score 25? Well, basically this comes down to all the other metrics, which are just as important. Now, if we look at the first one here, we can see this one is a pretty strong um, link. It's pretty strong on the posi position. It's a lot stronger than the others, almost double score of some of them. Um, so why is that? Well, except from the DA, which is the same on all the three links here, we have higher page authority. We have some citation flow, trust flow, and so on and so on. Um, and this also comes down to like the traffic to the link and the social shares, stuff like that. So basically, this is the um, 
weaker Amazon links in this top three here, these two. And this is where Amazon links gets beatable because yeah, they do have a very strong domain, but more often than not, these pages have close to nothing um, when it comes to social signals and inbound links. Um, and this is where you get something to say in the equation because you don't need a domain authority of 60 or above to beat these links. If you just have strong page authority, you have social signals, you have a good link profile and so on, so on, something that looks natural. Um, well, you can easily outrank lots of these high DA uh, websites. So don't just get scared away by stuff like Amazon here. Um, I have outranked Amazon links many times and it is very, very possible. Okay, so let's say, well, I kind of want to know, let's say I want to know um, the amount of inbound links to a specific um, URL. Well, this is where the customization comes into play because up here we can click manage metrics and we have loads of other options here. As we can see, we can remove some of the metrics if we don't want to look at them. Let's say I don't want to look at the, the must rank. I can go ahead and remove that here and let's have room for another. So if we look here, we have the external links. I kind of want to see that the number of external links to the URL, including no followed links. So we can see that's another reason why this link is stronger because it has inbound links and this one shows uh, authority inbound links compared to the others, which have no inbound links whatsoever. So um, you can really work around with this tool and see um, what makes a specific uh, position strong and how you can outrank them. So this should give you an idea of how to compete for specific positions. And like for this keyword, it is very doable to reach the second position. It's going to be hard to beat the first link because of the page authority, the social signals and the inbound links and all the trust flow. Um, but we have found a hole here um, in the keyword here that lets us um, basically possibly rank second for this keyword and get the traffic from that. Um, so yeah, that's just a short look into the SERP checker tool. Um, let's say if we wanted to get more statistics on the keyword itself, we could open it up with keyword finder just like this. And we can see in a moment here, the search volume, this is a monthly, monthly search volume and the average cost per click and the PPC advertising competition. Um, yeah. So basically you can see how many people search for this. And also, as I mentioned before, the powerful keyword finder tool here, um, we have loads of other similar keywords that you could possibly rank for. Um, yeah, so that's kind of it guys for this video and short introduction to the SERP watch, SERP checker, sorry, from Mangools. If you want to try this um, tool out, you can follow the link in the description for a free trial. Goodbye.